Neville and Duncan fight over. Duncan is a yellow number six narrow gauge engine that likes to make everything really good. And Neville is the youngest tender engine on on Sodor and 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 he is still learning his way around. One day they were being really naughty, like they wanted to help Stepney with his own goods. Let me help, said Neville. No, said said Duncan. Let me. No, said Neville. Oh, let me, said Duncan. No, let me. No, let me. No, let me, they both said. Then Stepney was cross. Aren't you guys going to help me? He said, stop arguing all over. Oh, I said, oh, said, ne said Neville, I'm sick of this. Oh, I'm sick of this because of you, said Duncan. The two engines start, the two engines argued and argued, so, so, so Stepney chose Toby instead. I'll help, said Toby. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, oh, no, you don't, they said, but it was too late as they bashed into one another. This was all your fault, said Neville. No, it wasn't. It was yours, said Duncan. And they were all arguing and arguing and arguing. Why don't you both help, said Toby. Neville was too weak. Duncan was too weak, so Neville helped. I win, he said. And, and Stepney was... And Stepney's help was finally over. And then he continued along with, so that he can, con so that he'll continue along with his job safely, and he will. Just then, they were re he and Dun Neville and Duncan were ready for more fighting over. I'll get there for the coaches first on time before you, said Neville. No, you won't, said Duncan. And then they raced after one another. I'm the best of it, said Neville, as he raced along the track. But Neville missed. Neville avoided the coaches by accident. Duncan saw them and uh, slammed on his brakes. The signalman changed the points. And Duncan was... And Duncan was coupled to the coaches. At last he fought, then Neville was cross. I'll bump you! And bumped him off. But Duncan avoided, ne avoided being pushed and Neville knew that he had the coaches. That Duncan had the coaches, so Neville had an evil plan. I'm on your express line, said Duncan, so that you won't concentrate. I can't see, said Duncan, and there was Dennis pushing some trucks. De there was Dennis pushing some trucks. Then Neville, then Neville saw the trucks. I have to stop, he said, but it was too late, Duncan, but it was too late. Duncan behind pushed Neville, and, ne and the trucks were were dangerously near as Neville crashed into Dennis's truck. The deliveries laid everywhere and the trucks were in pieces. Dennis was cross. Oh, she said, should you two be responsible for this? Sorry. Sorry, said Duncan. And then Dennis felt so annoyed and ran away. When the mess was... After when the mess was cleared, and when Neville was back on the rails, he... He re Duncan had the Duncan's driver change the points and Duncan made it in time. Neville 
Neville heard the points, and then it was too late. No! And then it was too late. No! 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 He went and derailed his tender. He felt so annoyed, and he did so too at the next day, while Duncan was, was still on the line, pulling coaches on the branch line, and on the Sodor Railway too. At the next day, Duncan was ready. He already took, yesterday he took the coaches out. He took the coaches for a day out without Neville, and cleared up the mess for Dennis, and helped Stepney and Toby, and now Duncan was ready to exercise his wheels. He went on the turntable. This is funny, said. The foreman, the foreman stopped immediately. Please make way, please make way for the other engines, he ordered. Now, Duncan did say so, but unfortunately, the, 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 the foreman stopped it, stopped the turn, stopped the turn, stopped making Duncan spin on the turntable at the wrong place. Duncan was on the wrong, Duncan was at the wrong track, and there was Neville puffing directly towards him. The two engines gazed in a the two engines gazed in a grinding halt. They gazed grinly at each other. I was here first, said Neville. But you were in my way, protested protested Duncan. You'll just have to back up again. I won't. You will. I won't. And the fat controller came to stop the noise. If you don't behave, I shall not allow this behaviour ever again. The next day, Duncan was still grumpy. That Neville, he said, on my way from get... That Neville, he said, he's taking over, over the whole Sodor Railway, and he's a really silly engine. The way I see it, said Tom's. It's about time that you're blaming one another, huh, said Duncan. You must have heard it all wrong. They grumbled, they grumbled dreadfully about each other all day. Soon, Stepney came to interrupt this. Oh, all this behaviour is driving bad atmosphere in the yards. You're quite right, said, said Thomas, and, and I know, and I want, and I know one big plan. Stepney, whis Stepney whispered something to Thomas. Soon the fat controller agreed. I'll start with the two engines straight away. Just then, Neville and Duncan arrived at the meeting, arrived in a meeting with the fat controller. Then he spoke, then the fat controller was ready to start. Then the fat controller was ready to start. Duck, Stepney is taking a step, Stepney is taking a, Stepney is taking a, is taking, is taking two posh red coaches to the harbour. His regular, his regular basis saying that those coaches are heavy so you can pull it together. But, but, they said, but, but, protested, protested Duncan and Neville who are still not speaking to each other. Good, I knew I could rely on you. See for yourself. I'll pull the coaches myself, said Duncan. Go right ahead. Go right ahead, said Neville. Neville, Duncan was ready and was coupled with the coaches, but the coaches were too heavy, and his brakes were aching. Go on, said Neville. I can't, said Duncan, but this gave Neville an, an, an important idea. I think you won't pull on your own this time, Duncan. I think we'll work together. Duncan was still lighted, and they took the coaches to the harbour and they agreed not to fight over themselves anymore, and fight over Thomas and Stepney as well, and fight over help. Greatest of all, it was good to be friends again.